so let's talk about Facebook vocabulary because Facebook is, you know, like any business has kind of its own jargon and its own slang and its own words that you kind of need to understand to have like a really deep understanding of all the advanced things and all the ways that we can really take advantage and leverage the unbelievable power of Facebook advertising to really change our lives and change our businesses. And so, you know, again, the jargon also helps with just being able to have conversations because one of the most important parts, and I'm not going to preach or anything like that, but one of the most important parts about making this work, guys, is the community. And so that's why it's so, 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 so important to really participate um, in our private Facebook group because nothing is, you know, nothing is more important than having a group of people in the same place as you grinding to make it work, trying to make their Facebook ad agency work or trying to make, you know, Facebook ads work for their own business or product or whatever they're actually using Facebook for. And so understanding the vocabulary allows you to have those conversations and allows you, you know, you know to feel comfortable in any conversation with any marketer. So that's why I am going to explain every single thing that you could possibly want to know about Facebook advertising vocabulary. And so let's start at the top, guys. A campaign is the highest level, right? And so a campaign, um, you know, contains the ad sets, the ad sets contain the ads. And that's why I set up this handy dandy, beautiful little graphic for you guys. So you can have a campaign, right? This could be a campaign about Corgi merchandise. Um, you know, I want to create, you know, a traffic campaign driving traffic to on my amazing Corgi website where I'm selling Corgi t-shirts and Corgi sweaters and Corgi collars and all types of things for my adorable baby Corgi puppies. Um, and inside of that campaign, I could have ad sets. And so maybe I wanted to have an ad set where I had you know a custom audience of people who visited my store, retargeting them. Maybe I had an ad set of, of people who engage with my Facebook page. Maybe I had an ad set of, you know, of emails of people that have been purchasers, right? And so I could, I could split test multiple things. And every time I split test, that's a different ad set. Maybe I was testing, you know, males that were 21 through 34 as one ad set. Maybe I had another ad set that was um, women 45 to 55 as an ad set, right? And then inside of those ad sets, I actually have my ads. And what's up, Bailey? Um, and so inside of those ad sets, I actually have my ads. Um, and so those ads are what actually, um, you know, have the creative. So I could have literally an image of a beautiful little corgi puppy um, as one of my ads. I could have a video of a bunch of adorable little corgi puppies, you know, frolicking through a meadow as one of my ads. And so the ads are the actual images that you see, that your customers you really see on their Facebook pages, on their feeds when they're scrolling through. Their ads are what you see. The ad sets are where you split test on targeting. That's that's where you choose, you know, I'm going to target people who are interested in PetSmart, right? So this is where the magic happens in the ad sets. This is where we're going to spend most of our time, right? The campaign really just contains the ad sets and then within each ad set you have your actual ads themselves, right? And so that is the difference between a campaign, right? Highest level ad set. This is where the magic happens. This is where we choose our detailed targeting. This is where we choose our audiences. This is where we choose, you know, this is where 95% of the magic happens on Facebook. And then the ad itself is the actual graphic or video, right? This is where we add the copy that says, come check out our, you know, Corgi merchandise, 50% off today only, like come check it out or you're gonna, you know, hate yourself for the rest of your life or something like that. I promise we're going to we're going to do better copy than that. That's just what comes off the top of my head. If you don't like corgis, there must be something wrong with you. So Campaign, ad set, ads, and look at this beautiful graphic I made for you guys. So that is the very basics of the structure of a Facebook ad campaign. And if you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, Kevin, what are all these crazy words here like brand awareness and video views and conversions, right? So these are what's called marketing objectives. So Facebook figured that there's actually, they should be different marketing objectives with different goals, right? So if your goal is just to get traffic to your website, then Facebook will find you people on Facebook who are most likely from their browsing history on Facebook to actually click and become traffic to your website. Or if you just want engagement, right, and you want people to like your post and you want people to comment on your post and you want people to share your post, uh, but that's all you're mainly concerned with, then Facebook will show uh, your ads to people who have proven through their browsing history to be likely, most likely to engage with your posts. And the reason that I'm not going to go through all of these right now, guys, is because this is so, 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 so important when to use awareness, when to use consideration, when to use conversion, that I'm going to go 
unbelievably in depth, so in depth that you probably are gonna want to slap me in my face because I've been talking so long, but I promise you that it's going to be extremely useful for you guys. Um, once we get to that section, it is coming up soon and it's super, super exciting. Obviously, you guys can tell that I'm passionate about this stuff because it works and it can change your life and you know it can make you millions and millions of dollars if you're doing it in the right way, guys. So that is your basic intro to marketing objectives. I promise we're gonna go way, way deeper um, very, very soon um, later on in the course. You should be super excited um, and that is your kind of bang bang tutorial on campaigns, ad sets, and ads, and the difference between the three, and a beautiful little graphic to illustrate. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys, and let's get to the next.